Imagine a world where apes are not just animals, but intelligent beings, capable of thought, emotion, and communication. In the heart of this world, a scientist named Will Rodman is tirelessly working on a cure for Alzheimer's, a disease that has affected so many lives. However, this is no ordinary cure. This is a cure that inadvertently increases the intelligence of apes, blurring the lines between man and beast. A baby chimp, who we come to know as Caesar, is adopted by Rodman. This is not your typical chimp. This is a chimp that has inherited his mother's increased intelligence, a gift or perhaps a curse, from the experimental cure. Caesar's world is far removed from the wild jungles and the zoos. He is raised amongst humans, learning from them, growing with them, and ultimately, surpassing them. Thus begins the extraordinary journey of Caesar, an ape unlike any other. Caesar's intelligence grows, and so does his curiosity about the world. As we dive deeper into the narrative, we find Caesar grappling with a sense of alienation from his human counterparts. He's smart, he's perceptive, but he's also a chimpanzee in a world built for humans. This feeling of isolation propels Caesar on a path that leads him to free an abused ape from a rather unsavory owner. Unfortunately, his heroic act doesn't go unnoticed. The authorities step in, and Caesar is removed from his comfortable home with Will and is placed in a primate shelter. This isn't the kind of shelter you might be imagining, though. It's a harsh environment, filled with apes who've known nothing but cruelty from humans. It's a place that lacks compassion and understanding, a place where the law of the jungle prevails. But Caesar isn't just any ape. He's intelligent, he's resourceful, and most importantly, he's a survivor. He observes, he learns, he adapts. He uses his superior intellect to navigate and ultimately manipulate the hierarchy within the shelter. He leverages his knowledge of human behavior and the shelter's dynamics to bring about a change, not just for himself but for his newfound companions as well. It's a difficult journey, filled with trials and tribulations. But it's also a journey of self-discovery for Caesar. In the shelter, he finds his purpose. He's not just an anomaly, a scientific experiment gone right. He's a leader, a beacon of hope for his kind. He's the one who can bridge the gap between apes and humans, the one who can challenge the status quo. In the grim confines of the primate shelter, Caesar's true potential unfolds. He's not just surviving, he's thriving. He's not just adapting, he's evolving. And it's this evolution that sets the stage for what's to come. It's here that Caesar realizes his true calling to lead his kind. The world is about to witness a revolution, unlike anything it has ever seen. In the heart of the city, a spark ignites. A spark named Caesar. With an intelligence beyond his species, Caesar escapes from his confining shelter. His escape, however, is not merely a bid for personal freedom. No, it's the first step towards a larger plan, a grand revolution. Caesar, with his enhanced intelligence, is not content with just his own liberation. His sights are set on his brethren, the other apes. His mission? To uplift them from their oppressed state and lead them to a future where they are not just mere subjects of human will, but beings with their own agency. His first move? Stealing the Alzheimer's cure, a potent formula that has the power to boost intelligence. With this, he aims to level the playing field, to equip the other apes with the same cognitive abilities that he himself possesses. And so, under the cover of darkness, Caesar begins his mission. One by one, he administers the cure to his fellow apes. The effects are immediate and profound. Their eyes light up with newfound understanding, their movements become purposeful, and their actions, deliberate. A new breed of apes is born. With their enhanced intelligence, the apes rally behind Caesar. United, they stand strong, ready to claim their freedom. They march towards the city, a formidable force that sends ripples of panic through the human population. The city descends into chaos as the apes launch their attack. The world watches in stunned silence as the apes, once considered inferior, rise against their oppressors. Caesar, standing tall amidst his brethren, leads them through the city, sparking fear and awe in equal measures. He is not just an ape anymore. He is a leader, a beacon of hope for his kind, and a symbol of a revolution that has just begun. And so, the apes rise, marking the beginning of a new world order. As the dust settles, we are left to ponder on the new world the apes have created. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is a tale that unfolds with an intricate exposition of a world not too dissimilar from our own, but one that is turned on its head. The apes, now the dominant species, have reshaped society, and we are left to reflect on this new order. The film is not just a thrilling adventure but also a contemplative narrative exploring profound themes. The first among these is the issue of animal rights. 
the apes once confined and exploited for scientific experiments, rise against their oppressors, demanding their rightful place in the world. This theme forces us to consider our treatment of animals, questioning whether our pursuits of knowledge and advancement justify the suffering inflicted on other species. Next, we delve into the theme of intelligence. The line between humans and apes blurs as we witness the apes' cognitive abilities evolve rapidly due to the experimental drug. This raises questions about the nature of intelligence itself. Is it a uniquely human trait, or can it be artificially boosted in other species? And if so, what are the ramifications? Finally, the movie deals with the potential consequences of unchecked scientific experimentation. The quest for a cure for Alzheimer's disease inadvertently leads to the rise of a new world order dominated by apes. It serves as a cautionary tale of how noble intentions can lead to unforeseen and catastrophic outcomes when science is not tempered with ethical considerations. In essence, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is a thought-provoking exploration of our world and our place in it. It challenges us to reflect on our actions and their consequences, the boundaries of our understanding, and our responsibilities as stewards of this planet. In the end, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is more than just a story of revolution. It's a poignant exploration of what it means to be intelligent, to be free, and to be human.